Hey, welcome back. Uh, this is the third video um, on your basic crochet stitches. And if you haven't already seen the first and the second one, and you're a beginner, be sure to go and watch the first and the second, uh, especially the first one, because there's a few descriptions in there that are really helpful if you've already begun and you, you've gotten stuck you've made some mistakes, you're not sure why, that first video can help you to understand what went wrong. Now, in this video, we're gonna do a double crochet. And in the first video, we did a single crochet and we learned to do the chain foundation. In the second video, uh, I did the half double crochet. And in this video is the double crochet. So let's begin with um, a slip knot, and we're going to just go like so. Oopsie. This is really not difficult to do, I'm just making it, <laughs> it's fumbly. Okay, so when you've got your project, you're going to have a little bit of a tail. Make this nice and snug on your, on your, um, shaft of your hook. Okay, drop your tail down. Okay, now if you recall to do your tension, you wrap it around your finger and your top finger and this helps to give that tension. Okay, okay, and as you're moving along it helps to, you know, you, you have control from here to here you know, to keep that tension nice and snug. When you're, when you're working on your project, you're first beginning your, your chain foundation, you're going to hold it right at that slip knot, and we're going to chain 10 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and if you notice, I'm letting it go and I'm going up and I'm holding it close to the shaft, right where, um, right where the next loop needs to happen. Eight, nine, and ten. Okay, so let's just go and count that to make sure we've got ten. And we don't count that slip knot. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we don't count the one on the hook. Okay. Now we're going to do uh, a double crochet. And when we're doing the next row, we add, we chain three extras. One, two, three extra for a double crochet. Now, we've got one, two, three, but we're going to begin our double crochet stitch in the fourth chain. So we're going to go yarn over, and we're going to go into the fourth chain, yarn over, pull through that chain. Now this looks like a half double crochet, but we're going to go yarn over and we're going to go only through the two instead of the three. And that leaves two on the hook. Yarn over, pull through the last two. And that is your half double crochet. Yarn over, we're going to go into that next chain space right here. Yarn over, pull through that chain space yarn over, pull through the two, yarn over, pull through the two. Okay, so you can see how that is starting to look. Yarn over, go into that next chain space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through the two, yarn over, pull through the two yarn over, go into that next chain space, yarn over, pull through that chain space, 
yarn over, pull through the two, yarn over, pull through the two, yarn over, go into the next chain space, yarn over, pull through that chain space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, go into the next chain space, yarn over, pull through that chain space, yarn over, pull through the two, yarn over, pull through the two. Now, if you notice, this is starting to curl. And usually at the beginning of your projects, it will do that because it's just the beginning of the project. Once you start getting a little bit more length to your project, this will straighten out. But as this sits right now, it's straight. If it's really curly and you it keeps bouncing back into a curl, then your tension is too tight. Okay, and you might want to undo that and start again. Always check your tension. Keep changing your tension as you're moving along. Hold your project close. We're going to go into this next chain stitch right here. So hold it close to that chain stitch. Yarn over, go through that chain space. Hold on to your work right where that chain space was. Yarn over, pull through the two. Yarn over, pull through the two. Okay. So it's really important if you're holding it too far out, you won't be able to get to these stitches uh, as easy. So hold it beside your next chain space, yarn over, go through your chain space, yarn over, pull through your chain space, yarn over, pull through the two, yarn over, pull through the last two. Okay, and we've only got, uh, we've got one more stitch. Yarn over. Oh, no, we've got two more stitches. Go through your chain space. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. Now, if you notice, I'm holding it right, you know, once I get through that chain space, I hold on to it. So that when you've got a, a double crochet, it's just a little bit longer so you want to have more control over your project. Okay, and that's your very last stitch right here. You're going to go through that chain and there's your slip knot right at the end. So you're not going to go into that. Yarn over, go into your last space. Okay, hold on to that. Hold it around that slip knot and around that chain space. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through. And when you've got a good grip, then you can it helps when you're working on it to control your tension as well. Now, we're going to turn our work, but before we do, we're going to chain three. One, two, three, and turn. Okay, and this is the back of the work. Now, you can see here, we don't count the one on the hook. One, two, three, and we're going to go into that fourth chain space right here. Now if you look this way, you can see one, two, three, we're going to go into this one. I'm just going to take that out. We're going to go into this one here. One, two, three, four, and we're going to go into that front loop. Okay. Now I mention the front loop because in some instances, sometimes the instructions tell you to pick up the back loop but you're going to pick up the front loop, okay? Make sure you tighten that loop around your hook. Get your tension right. Hold on to your project close to that to that space you're going into. Yarn over and go through that front loop. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through. Oopsie, two. Yarn over, pull through two. Okay, and we're going to go yarn over into that next loop. Yarn over, pull through that loop. Yarn over, pull through the two, and pull through the two. Yarn over, go into that next chain space. That's the next loop, the front loop. 
yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through the two, yarn over, pull through the two. Yarn over, go into your next loop, and just make sure that you are only picking up the one loop, okay? It's really easy to pick up the two, but just pick up the one. Pull through, pull through the two, pull through the two. Yarn over, okay. Yarn over, go through the next loop. Yarn over, go through the next loop, pull through, pull through the two, pull through the two. Now I did a couple of stitches a little bit quicker and you'll be able to do that too eventually. But for now, just go slow, yarn over, go through the next chain space, pull through, pull through the two, oh, my tension's getting a little tight, pull through the two, yarn over, go through the next chain space, pull through, pull through the two, pull through the two. Now, we're at, we're coming up to that end. Now let's just see. If you're not sure if you have to pick up one more stitch, just go back and count. We don't count the one on the shaft. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we did, we picked them all up. And we're going to do one more row. We have two of these stitches on. We're going to count three, one, two, three chains and we're going to turn. And this is going to be the last row. And remember when you turn, when you're beginning the row and when you're ending the row, this is where you can have a lot of mistakes happen. This is important to pay attention to where, what stitch you're picking up. So, we're counting one, two, three, yarn over, and we're going into that fourth stitch right there. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through the two, yarn over, pull through the two. Okay? Once we get the first one figured out, it just makes it easy for the next ones that you're doing. We're going into that next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, Yarn over, pull through two. Okay. Yarn over. And pull through the two, and pull through the two. Okay, next stitch. Make sure you're going into that stitch and not you're you're not grabbing two. Go into that next stitch, pull through, pull through the two, pull through the two. Okay, and you're always going to need to adjust your tension. Yarn over, pull through, pull through two, pull through two. Yarn over, go through your chain space, pull through that chain space, pull through the two, pull through the two. Yarn over, go through that chain space, pull through, pull through the two, pull through the two. Yarn over into that next chain space. Okay, and notice how I'm holding it close to the next stitch right here. Now be careful you don't make your stitches too tight, it'll be very frustrating. Go through the two, go through the two and we're going to do one more. Now if we stopped here and we turned, we'd have a very lopsided edge. But we have one more stitch we need to pick up. Okay, now we're going to pick up that last stitch right there at the very end. Pull through, pull through the two, pull through the two. Okay, now we're going to finish this off. You can see a nice straight row. Finish that off. that through. Just gently snuggle it down 
and there we go. Okay, and that is the double crochet. That's the front, and that's the back. Now I'm just going to point out the stitches here. Now when you're looking when you're looking at these stitches, you can kind of see a little bit of a a V shape on the top when you're looking down. Okay. And when you're picking up stitches, you may pick up the front loop or you may pick up the back loop or you may pick up both stitches together and sometimes you need to do that um, to give strength uh, so that the next stitch is really secured. Now when we turn this over that's the back side or the wrong side and sometimes when you're doing uh, these patterns and these stitches you're going to be required to pick up the back loop okay and when you're looking at the project like this, you just see this top, these top stitches here. You can't see those back stitches. But if you turn your work, you can see where these stitches are. Okay, right here. And those are back loops. When you're looking at it from this point of view. Okay, and these here stitches when they're done these are called posts so this is front post and then this would be back post okay so there you go that is a post it's just good to understand the terminology when you're beginning crocheting because it can become very confusing uh, what the terminology means so I hope that has been a help for you and stay tuned in the next videos I will be uh, showing you how to do um, some other basics in crochet. Now I want to show you just um, for the very end of these stitches what we've done so far. We've done our single crochet, we've done our double crochet, and we've done our, let's see here, just to make sure it's all showing up in the camera. Okay, and there's your double crochet. Okay. And, yeah, so those are your three basic stitches that you're going to use most often.